Praise the Lord! Praise the living Jesus! How are you doing today, sisters and men? I hope you're doing good! Uh, God bless you, God bless you so much. God be with you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord be with you. How was your love season? How was your love season? I hope you spend your love season with your family, with your loved ones, and also I hope you also showed Christ's love to the strangers around you you came in contact with. And may the Lord reward you for your good works because that person eventually gives thanks to God on your behalf for the help you extended, you rendered for the love of Christ you showed to such a person. And may the Lord be with you and bless you, continue to bless you and strengthen you even to earn more honor, to bring more honor and praise to the most high God, your creator, in Jesus' name. God bless you. Shall we pray shortly? Father, we thank you for this hour. We bless your name. We glorify your name. We give you thanks for another opportunity to hear your word. Please teach us and bless us with more understanding to be more like you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. So today, um, this message is presented um, to you during the week and it's going to be called uh, a weekly bonus special, a weekly bonus special, weekly bonus special. And today we are just summarizing and whenever we have a weekly bonus special like that, it's always a kind of like a, a extra bonus for the week, um, a, a kind of like urgent message that needs to be like distributed as the Lord leads for us to like share immediately within the week before um, the next weekend, which is Saturday, which we have our regular messages. And like today, we're having a weekly bonus special. And may God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. And on today's weekly bonus special, we are gonna be having a summary of our messages from for the month of January. We're gonna be having the summary, brief summary about them. And by the grace of God, we started with uh, let God be proud of you, part two. Let God be proud of you. And on that message, we, we learned that we need to make ourselves available. We need to be willing to please God. We need to ask God the Lord, I want to please you. Help me to please you. We need to, to be available. We, we learned about being a vessel of honor. We need to make ourselves sanctified for the, for the good work for the master to use. Praise the Lord. We need to make ourselves available that somebody might need your help. You need to go just like we, we, we just in this um, this month of the month of February, which we talk about love, sharing love, you sh extending the love, showing the love of Christ to strangers, to someone you don't know, somebody that don't know you. So that is a form of way that we, we make God proud of us, being a vessel of honor, willing to make God, willing to please God. God is not going to come down to, 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 uh, to, to bless his people directly, always. He can use you. So you need to make yourself available as that vessel of honor. You can also go back to that message and listen to it again. And may God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And likewise, we went to perfect God. And this is about my passionate testimony, my passionate experience, which I shared by the grace of God. Um, so this was a time, some, uh, some time past, like I had this situation, this challenge and when, when uh, at some point I begin to think and reflect on the situation and I begin to commit this complaint to God, to my Heavenly Father, right? Just like we, to our children, like we, we complain to Daddy, I don't like this, Mommy, I don't like this, uh, why? So I was also, and this is kind of like how you're also supposed to deal with God. This is how God wants us to relate with Him. You have this personal relationship with God. And by the grace of God, let me give you an heads up. By the grace of God, in this month of February right now, the last Saturday we're going to be having, we're going to be hearing about building your relationship with God. Like having this personal relationship, that's just an X out for you. So look forward to that and may God bless you. So I was having this uh, complaint to my Heavenly Father. I was like, Daddy, why? That this shouldn't have happened. I was crying. Like, I mean, it's something painful because it's, it's eventually turned out to be testimony for me. Because, But I, the, the reason why I was making the complaint is like... Like, it shouldn't have even happened. Like, God should have, like, 
rescued me, like took me out of the, like the situation. I shouldn't have gotten into the situation, but glory to God, it's still a testimony. But uh, based on that experience, I was making this complaint. I was crying, and the Lord led me to the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter five and six, which was telling, like when I read it. Like I shouldn't, why should I make this complaint? Why should I tell the angel of the Lord that it, it was an error that why should God look at the works of my hand and destroy? Why should God look at my excuse and destroy the works of my hand? That was what the uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 6 says, um, New King James Version. And I, when I read this Bible passage, I began to even to cry more bitter and begin to apologize that I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, Daddy, I'm so sorry. And... Um, the Lord, by the grace of God, the Lord led me to like ask, okay, what, what, what's your plan for me now? What do you, what's your plan for me? And by the grace of God, the Lord showed me a revelation and by the grace of God, which is according to his plan, which I'm supposed to follow as a guideline by the grace of God. That is the testimony. And also in that uh, message, perfect God, um, Another illustration we got from that is that like, no matter your challenges, no matter what situation you're going through, God is like an artist, like or a, a chef. And those are the two illustrations we used. Like a chef now, this, okay, let's start with an artist. The artist a painting a picture. He knows, he knows this final um, attempt of the picture he's trying to paint. But you looking at this picture, you from your own perspective, looking at this beginning of this picture, uh, uh, artist painting this picture you're gonna look at like like what is this you're doing this is horrible like but when you are patient when you relax and when you begin to just follow just keep watching and by the time you complete this picture you're gonna like wow this is so beautiful and that is the same thing with God we need to be patient with God regardless of our challenges regardless of the situation we, you remember Job as well Job also went through such situation but at the end God manifested himself the Bible says in the book of Job chapter 42 verse 12 says and God blessed Job twice as much as he had before so we need to be patient with God and walk with God because God is perfect he is a perfect God and also like relatedly like a chef when a chef begins to make his dish if he hasn't completed the ingredients when you go taste the food it's not going to look taste delicious or look good but by the time they completed, wow, this is delicious. Just like you comment on your parents' food, most especially, I'm sure, most especially mommy, but I'm sure daddy also knows how to cook. Uh, likewise, you as a parent, I'm sure mommy, our mommies and our daddies, I'm sure by the grace of God, we make comments about our parents' food, like, wow, this is delicious. So likewise, when we are patient with God and make him, let him relax until he finishes work, it's perfect work for us. We are going to eventually give thanks to Him and we're going to forget the challenges which we might go pass by. And God bless you in Jesus' name. And likewise, the third week we went to believe, believe, believe. Um, and this we, we got this um, characteristics of belief to be, be, be encouraged, liberated, inspired, uh, energized. Uh, to the vision that is the promise of God given to you as you expect the manifestation believe and we reverence um, Michael White um, a musician like like, like we need to, to, to believe and just trust in God and we, we, we made mention about faith like faith and um, we show some illustration like I'm holding a Bible like God this is a Bible I'm holding with me like this is an evidence I'm having with me it's an evidence and I believe so you having the faith is like your Bible. You have your faith that yes, Lord, I believe you're gonna answer my prayer. I have this evidence with me, and your faith is like that Bible you're holding. That you are sure you can see your Bible, so you you can you you have to view your faith like yes, you are definitely sure that you have this faith and trust in God that He will surely answer you, and that is the faith you have it. So we need to believe in God as we move journey through the year, as we journey through the situation challenges. We need to trust God, rely on God, believe on God, continue to ask. Continue to put your trust in Him. Believe in Him and it will surely come to you. And eventually we went to being on the same page with God. 
being on the same page with God, which was a reverence to my pastor, Pastor Joseph Amide, Kuga Cathedral uh, Ministry, um, which it was, which was a, um, a, an understanding which I got from his point, which he shared with us that he's praying for his members, more of his members by the grace of God, more of his members, 20 in addition to, 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 to become owners in this year, 2021. And he, he, made, he made the comment like, okay, go after, go for it. Like, go, like, go after it. And I got an understanding that we also need to be on the same page with God because God might be having plans for us. It says, my thoughts towards, towards you are of good and not of evil. So God having this plan, this purpose for you and begin to provide for that specific project. But if you're not on the same page with God, God is giving you resources now for this for you to achieve this goal, for you to achieve or accomplish this project and because you are not on the same page with God, you divert the resources to something else and you disappoint God because God expects you to fulfill this project and God is not going to be happy with you because you are not on the same page with God and, and, and that was an encouragement to the members of Koro Cathedral that we need to also to, to follow, continue to believe and trust God. And when God is providing for us, we need to, to go to get our house, like make plans. And because God will surely answer that prayer, but you need to complete, you need, uh, you need to use those resources to accomplish, to fulfill that goal. And the testimony shall be yours. May God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. And eventually, um, the same page with God, eventually we went to seeking, um, seeking God's mercy. Um, week number five, seeking God's mercy. And this place was a reverence to a woman in the Bible who was pleading to Jesus in the book of Matthew. And Jesus was like, we, we can't, like, like the children's food shouldn't be given to dogs. And this woman was like, wow, even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. And we got a point was like, this woman, like, did not focus on this insults that we're going to say like like we might count but coming from the lord jesus christ coming from our savior we can never count that to be insult but like looking at the statement the woman did not focus on that but she focused on what she's expecting seeking the mercy of the lord jesus christ for a daughter to be healed and we reverence our parents for the for the for their love for us and an and, and encouragement to we the youth that we should always listen to our parents that's you no know, like they love us they care about us and even they, they care about us and lo, lo, also um, our fathers also because in that message it was also reverence it was just reverence based on our particular chapter we're focusing on the reverence was given to most especially to our mothers that they care about us that this woman was wasn't focusing on herself but asking for the Lord's mercy just for a daughter to be healed and likewise you remember the story of the um, centurion, uh, a soldier who one also went to the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord, my, my you come, my servants. This one was even about his servant. Like, like, I want you to come, come and heal my, my my servant. Come, come to my house. And eventually, oh, he, he was like, okay, ju just speak the word only. And this was reverence about the faith of the people. And likewise, and now, like, also, our, our fathers also, they also show love. And like, so we make reverence about this, um, this woman, like, seeking for, for, for the lost message for her daughter to be healed. Praise the Lord. So like seeking God's mercy, we came to understand that we, like God, like we need, God is happy. The Bible says the Lord is pleased with those who hope in his mercy. We, we need to seek God's mercy like on the prayer. It, because if you ask God for something, God is an unquestionable God. That is another thing we learned. God is an unquestionable God. If you ask, if you pray and he, he did not answer your prayer right now, you, you like nobody can question God. But you, 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 we are encouraged to go to the, to, to, to the message of the Most High God, that Lord, in your mercy, please give me this, this request, this desire of my heart. And I pray that according to your perfect rule, according to his perfect rule, may the Lord grant unto you the desire of your heart in his mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. And that concludes our messages for the month of January. Um,
and may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. You can always look back to those messages. Um, let God be proud of you, part two. Perfect God, believe, um, let, uh, being on the same page with God and seeking God's mercy. Seeking God's mercy. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord be with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Enjoy your week. Enjoy your week and may God be with you in Jesus' name. And look forward to our message coming this week, this Saturday. And may God bless you and be with you in the name of Jesus Christ. And definitely it's going to be that message that talks about um, building your relationship with God. Your relationship with God. And it's a follow-up number six on um, uh same on keep um keep serving god the series of our messages on keep serving god building your your relationship with god this this love this moment of love this month of love we need to we need to talk about that as well it's 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 it talks about your love now to god your relationship with god not just with your fellow human beings and may god bless you look forward to that and god be with you thank you all for your time and likewise your attention god bless you in jesus name amen